why most businesses don't work and what to do about it by Michael Gerber. If you are like most business owners, you are working in your business instead of on your business. The e was written to help entrepreneurs like you understand the value of working on your businesses so you can have the freedom to scale, focus on your passion, and achieve your entrepreneurial dreams. What is the entrepreneurial myth? Michael Gerber describes the entrepreneurial myth in detail, quote unquote, the flawed assumption that people who are experts at a certain technical skill will therefore be successful running a business that does that technical work. There is a dangerous belief that anyone can start a business and become successful simply by shadowing or imitating someone else's success. The reality is, most businesses fail because their owners simply do not have the necessary skills or knowledge to make their businesses thrive. In the e-myth, Michael Gerber lays out a framework for building a successful business based on three essential roles, the technician, the manager, and the entrepreneur. As the founder of your business, it is important to understand all three roles and how they work together to create a thriving enterprise. A technician is a doer, one who loves getting into the nitty-gritty details of running a business. Modern examples of the technician are your employees or staff, admins, workers, and virtual assistants who often live in the present but passionate about their niche and enjoy the challenge of problem solving. The manager, on the other hand, is the organizer one who loves creating systems and procedures to keep things running smoothly. Just like team leaders, department managers, or the virtual systems architects of ProSolum, they have a knack for multitasking and seeing the big picture while hanging onto the status quo and demanding order in areas that lack systems and documentation. And last, the entrepreneur, the visionary, one who lives in the future and loves coming up with new ideas, often without adequate preparation to turn ideas into reality. They are creative people who see potential where others see only obstacles. The e explains how everyone within an organization has these three tendencies and stresses the importance of all three roles working together in order for business to be successful. Each role has their own strengths and weaknesses, but when they work together, they create a well-rounded business. If you have ever wondered why most businesses fail, it is because most people who start their business remain as the technician. Just because you know how to do a job does not guarantee your success in business. The mistake is doing exactly the same thing you did as an employee. Your business is sure to fail when it becomes entirely dependent on you, the founder. When this happens, you don't have a business, you have a job. Face what's beyond your comfort zone and accepting assistance. One of the most difficult things for business owners is hiring people for the first time and relying on them. You have to realize that running your own business does not necessarily mean doing everything on your own. In fact, it is quite the opposite. A good sign that you are growing from the technician and maturing into the entrepreneur is when you focus on what you are good at and delegate the rest. Embrace assistance from people who are passionate in the fields where you are lacking. Hire experts in those fields and trust them to do an excellent job. The key to success is delegation and assembling a team who can help you grow. Build your company instead of simply doing business. Another great example is found in podcasting. Podcasters are passionate about creating content by interviewing experts, talking about their ideas, or writing drafts for their next episode. And they prefer to consistently publish episodes each week. But there is so much involved in podcast production. Audio engineering, SEO rich show notes and written assets, social media promotions, PR, publishing and distribution, and some podcasts even do video editing as well. Can a single person really carry all these tasks and publish an episode per week? No. You need to get out of your comfort zone and start thinking like the entrepreneur. Always look for ways to improve and grow. The Entrepreneurial Perspective and Turnkey Revolution so, if your business demands independence from you, its founder, to become successful, then where can your business rely? Systems and processes. You need to have systems and processes in place so your business can run without you. The goal is to build a business that is not only successful but also scalable. Remember that great businesses are built on systems, not people. A great example is a fast food franchise. The business is not dependent on just a single person. Employees are trained to follow the systems and processes that have been put in place. So, customers get a consistent product in line with the brand no matter who is behind the counter. This is what Michael Gerber calls the turnkey revolution. A business that can be run by anyone with minimal training because the systems and processes are already in place. So, if you want your business to succeed, you need to focus on creating systems and processes instead of simply doing the work yourself. 
take the time and effort to create your systems, hire people to help you, and delegate tasks so you can focus on growing your business. By following these essential principles, you will be well on your way to creating a successful, scalable business and achieve true entrepreneurial success. And there you have it, the E-Myth 5-Minute Summary. I hope this has given you better understanding of the book and how it can help you build a successful business. Do you have any questions about the E-Myth? Let us know in the comments below. We would be happy to answer them.